Mr. Day will give a quick update on the airport report. Good Thank you, Bobby. Mayor. Thank you, Bobby. City Councilman. <clears throat> now they, yeah, they showed me everything except how to open it. Okay, uh, good evening, Mayor, City Councilman, citizens. I'm happy to have a chance to talk to you about my favorite subject, the airport. And, uh, okay, what, I was, what I'm going to talk to you <coughs> about tonight is uh, what we did in 2013 and what we're still doing, what we're going to be doing in 2014, and what we're going to be doing in the future, what we plan to do in the future. Bear with me here a minute. There we go. Okay, in... Uh, ah, well, we'll go with this. Uh, in, 19, in 2013, we did acquire the 10-acre farm across from the end of the runway. Uh, you can see with this overhead, the end of the runway there, and see where that property lies with, this, with respect to the runway. So uh, this alleviates. You don't have the slides, so. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Uh, shows you where it lies with respect to the runway. It is within the runway protection zone, which makes the purchase eligible for FAA grants. And uh, we paid 125000 for the property. After negotiations, the uh, appraiser that we hired had determined its value to be 119000 We will recover in state and federal grants, primarily federal grants, the... 119,000 plus all the closing costs, appraisal fees, so on and so forth. The 6,000 gap, we're going to make a run at recovering because we know some of our uh, neighbors have by arguing or debating with the FAA about the money saved by going this route versus the uh, condemnation route. And they've been successful at it. So we have a hope of getting complete reimbursement, but we're assured of reimbursement of all costs except that $6,000 gap. Uh, the federal project that we did federal project that we did in 2013 was the runway seal code and remarking. This is a view of uh, runway 25 or the approach to the airport from the east side. And it's fairly close to what a pilot would see. Actually, this is what I saw standing on Tyler <laughs> Road, so it's a little low for an approach. But uh, you can see the difference in the, uh, the darkness of the runway and the markings contrasted to the taxiway to the, to the uh, north of it there that really just doesn't show in the picture from being so faded. This is a preventive maintenance type project. We didn't create anything new. We sealed the cracks in the runway the previous year and we come back and put the seal coat and remarking on this year, or not this year, 2013. <coughs> and this is entirely paid for by the uh, FAA and the state. Uh, the total project was 120, uh, budgeted $129,063. We came in at $120,723, or 6.5% under budget, and uh, are close to closing out. Um, paperwork is 100, I mean, the uh, project is 100% physical complete, and we're still struggling with some paperwork with the, the contractor, general contractor, and hopefully we'll have it closed out shortly. The other project that we worked on last year and our near completion is the self-service aviation gasoline system. Um, it's 
As you can see, it is delivered and in place. Uh, we expected to have it in operation last week, but we found a spot in the epoxy coating on the in liner of the tank that uh, hadn't cured properly. It was repaired Tuesday, and we'll be doing the startup on it next week and hope to have it in operation by next Friday. Um, you folks appropriated $87,941 for this project. We got a $77,608 $77, grant from the state, leaving the city to pay about $10,000 on this uh, system. And it will come in on budget. Those are the 2013 activities. In 2014, um, we, we have three projects, actually. Uh, one is um, glide slope indicator lights. And uh, here you can see the ones. They don't show up very well in the overhead, but you can see the ones installed on runway 7, those four red lights. Um, those indicate to the pilot whether or not he is on the correct uh, a slope, a glide slope to the runway. And uh, actually, they are more needed on the other end than they are on this end, but uh, this is uh, what we have right now, and we'll be adding these to the other end. To show you kind of a concept of what they look like, whoops, I need to go back one. Back two, there we go. Now uh, this would show something what they would look like to a pilot on the correct approach path. They, they transmit a red light and a white light, and if you're above the glide slope, you see white. If you're below, you see red or below the trigger for each light. And if you're on the glide slope, you'll see two red and two white, as, as is shown here. Now these, of course, are faked in, and, and if you saw two reds and two whites while you're standing on Tyler Road, you'd probably be in trouble. But uh, this, is, this is the concept on which these work. Uh, the other approach lights will be runway end identifier lights on the west end. Uh, they will be flashing white lights at the end of the runway that help a pilot that's doing an instrument approach find, visually find the airport when he breaks out of the clouds. They will be shielded so they uh, don't disturb the neighbors and don't disturb the people driving on, on the uh, Elmira there as they pass the end of the runway. The third project is a master plan update. The last master plan was completed in October of 98, and it was primarily focused on relocating the airport to a new location down closer to the river and not very much on the, lo on the present airport. Um, I'm at the point where I'm beginning to think maybe I don't see the forest for the trees and it's time for somebody, an outside expert, to come in and take a, a fresh look at the airport and, you know, what its condition is and where it needs to go and make recommendations to us on how we can best use the federal money available over the, <clears throat> over the next years to, uh, to keep our airport safe and keep making it safer and better. Uh, we do maintain a five-year running capital improvement plan. I don't expect you to be able to read this document, but I want to show you that it exists. Uh, this is a running five-year capital improvement plan with the Federal Aviation Authority that programs how we intend to use the uh, uh, 150,000 that we have available to us each year without having to compete on priorities with other airports. And what we have planned in here at, at this time is for 2014, the, the three items I just discussed, we won't do anything in 2015 and bank that money, and then in 2016, we're hoping to extend the length of the pavement at, at, on the runway by another 400 feet. Um, the most frequent, actually about the only complaint we have from the jet jockeys is, uh, uh, and one particular type of jet in, uh, <coughs> is that uh, in the summertime when the runway is wet, the distance that they have to calculate for accelerate, for takeoff, decide to abort, and still be able to stop on pavement is limited, again, if the temperature's high and the pavement's wet and they may have to take less fuel than they want. They've never been able not to take off and accomplish their mission, not have to make extra fuel stops. 
but it is a, a limitation and it would also increase safety margin. And then we would bank the money for another year and then go for extending the taxiway that 400 feet to the end of the pavement, the new pavement. Uh, that's, that's the end of our projects. I've got one more issue I want to bring to you that uh, just tell you I'm going to be coming back and asking for something sometime. I'm not sure what yet, but uh, we have three fuel trucks at the airport. They range in age from 25 years to 45 years. Uh, this one happens to be 36 years old. The uh, mean time between failures is decreasing and the significance of the failures is increasing. And the age of the airport staff is also increasing and it's getting where it's stressing our ability to maintain these trucks. And we're rapidly approaching the time we're going to need to do something about it. Now the new self-service station will, would allow us to go down to one truck, but uh, uh, sometime in the near future we need to be thinking about maybe getting a, a refurbished product package tanker tank on a much more recent uh, uh, truck chassis. So that's just a heads up, I'm going to be coming back in here sometime in the near future. That's all I have, gentlemen, be happy to ask, answer any questions. Anybody have any questions for Mr. Day? <coughs> Thank you. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. Good job. Appreciate that.